Come get some. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I am all out of gum. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm Big Mac Davis here, and this is the start of Episode 3, Shrapnel City of Duke Nukem 3D, on the Come Get Some difficulty. This is Raw Meat, the first map. They give us a Devastator weapon right off the bat for this right here. Oh my gosh, he dropped a chain gun cannon. Okay, well, I'm not going to use the chain gun because they don't normally drop that sort of weaponry right off the bat like that. Now, what you can do is lure the two captains to rise up with their jetpacks, and you can take them out from up here. And yeah, there's going to be two damn sentry drones that you can try to lure to explode, but... I'll just take the brunt of the punishment. Uh, this is not what you want to do, by the way. But this is just something that, uh... I don't know, it's kind of fun. You know, to let the sentry drones have their way with my face. Okay, the first thing you want to do is face the corner and then run right off into the water and then surface. Now, about the sentry drones. Well, first, let me get some health right here. Finally. Now, about the sentry drones. What you want to do is climb up here and grab the chain gun and then use it on the sentry drones. I'm going to save the atomic health for later on, and you'll see when I will grab that. We'll go up this ramp. We must be ready for two enforcers. And also a mounted gun on the left. Oh, perfect. He blew up in one blast. Okay, so we'll jump up to the area with the enforcers, and we'll grab the pistol ammo, and we'll drop down for some Come pipe bombs. Now, like before, I'm going to save the atomic health. You're going to see why. We'll submerge down below and grab the chain gun ammo. And we won't worry about the enemies right now. We will surface with a small med kit and be prepared for two more troopers. Well, he took away some of my health. Well, convenient, I suppose. There we go, the mounted gun is destroyed. Watch out when you back up right here. Oh my gosh, he blew up the uh, red statue lady. Okay, well, we'll grab the supplies from here. Please wait to be seated. And apparently we're in the Dukai Sushi restaurant. All right. Sushi. Let's have a pipe bomb ready when we approach the first curtain. Oh, wow, they're all dead. We'll grab the shotgun from the trooper area, but also in this room is a non-secret area with a jetpack, so be sure to grab that from there. Your first secret is to the left of the red statue lady, and if you just jump straight forward, you will enter into this area for your first secret. Exotica, tonight. Well, I'll be getting in on some of that, I suppose. Now, inside the second curtain, the table will lower down. You must go inside here. It is mandatory. We'll jump up for some steroids. 
but the purpose of this room is to press the switch. It will open up a door, which we will get to very shortly. And inside the last curtain area, grab the portable med kit. And watch out for the two troopers that will spawn. Oh, and by the way, you can actually... Yeah. Um, no money is given to these ladies, and I don't know why, because... I don't know. <laughs> okay, now in this dark alcove, there's some night vision goggles, but if you use them, push her button. Okay, well, let's go to the Exotica poster and push her button. It will reveal a shrinker and a secret area, so... Oh, and also, inside of the portable medkit room is a crack in the wall. And we'll grab the shrinker ammo from the secret area. Your fourth secret area is the Price's Chalkboard. Well, I got to tag the secret. But you must be quick, because the chalkboard can come down and squish you if you're not careful. <laughs> okay, so before we continue on with the map, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the starting area and grab up those atomic health that I skipped so I can boost myself up to 200 health because now I'm going to explore the underwater area. Now, sharks don't count as kills. However, I do kill them because they want to kill me. Always surface for air, because we don't have scuba gear just yet. Okay, and the underwater area for right now, is completely cleaned out. So, we will, um, go back through the sushi bar. Now, the actual bar itself is protected by a blue key, so we can't go through the bar just yet. And Duke said, this really pisses me off. Well, I agree, Duke, because... Apparently, the aliens are now planting their eggs around the babes, but also explosives around the babes as well, in the hopes that Duke Nukem will blow them up, which we're not going to do, by the way, to these poor babes. Okay, so we're going to step on the ledge with the shotgun shells for the octobrain that will spawn but also with a small med kit. And also for the ledge with the chain gun cannon ammo. Oh yeah, of course you would want me to blow those up. Okay, so yeah, just watch out for the octobrains that will spawn when you step on those ledges. We'll drop out and grab the shotgun shells from the ledge, but also what you can do is jetpack over here to grab the scuba gear, which we will use later on for the water, and also the chain gun cannon ammo from up above here. Okay, the next thing to do in this vine area is to find the curtain and go through it. Oh my gosh, I... yeah, I shot the switch. 
Okay, so if you press the switch, it will just open up this door where you can get back into the Dukai Sushi area. We'll grab the blue key. Now, if you press the back of the cash register... There we go. It will open up a series of teleporters all throughout the entire map. Now, these teleporters... Yeah, you can take them. But the problem is that they'll just take you to portions of the map you've already been. So it more or less just connects the map, you know, together. I guess is what I'm trying to say. We have the blue key, so let's go inside of the bar. The karaoke bar is cleaned out. Um, we will be back here. I'm gonna go in the sushi bar and kill some more enemies. The king, baby. Okay, the sushi bar is now cleaned out, so let's go back to the karaoke bar. Born to be wild on a motorcycle. Oh yeah. Uh, so apparently this is a hardcore bar that we're in. A motorcycle bar. Um, no bubble-blowing babies allowed. Hot, hot, hot. And this karaoke stage, Exotica, tonight. Oh, by the way, if you jump inside the Exotica, um, it will just take you to a teleporter, which will take you back to the Dukai Sushi restaurant, so not really needed. Karaoke. Well, let's test Duke's singing skills then. But watch out. Because three powerful enemies will spawn, so make sure they don't creep up on you. Okay, so let's go. You're moving quite fast there. You wanna dance? You wanna dance? Three hundred dollars because you move so energetically. Born to be wild. Born to be wild. <laughs> I never get tired of that, Duke. Um, yeah, your singing skills could be perfected a little bit. By the way, if you shoot the fan and jetpack up here, it will just take you back to a familiar area. Which is the area where we had to press the switch, the mandatory area. Okay, I think the karaoke bar is completely cleaned out, so let's explore the sushi bar. Now, there are some items on the... Uh, water area, like the steroids. I will take the shrinker ammo. And the atomic health. Yes, please. And also the pipe bomb. Okay, yeah. Um, sometimes the devastator ammo... Yeah, see, here comes the steroids again. Sometimes the Devastator ammo gets stuck, so what you want to do is crouch down and then jump. And you'll enter inside here. Yeah, see, the Devastator ammo got stuck. Okay, so again, I will demonstrate once again. What you want to do is crouch down, and then while you're remaining crouched, press the jump button. And you should enter inside here. I don't know why the Devastator ammo gets stuck. It just does. Okay, so with that all cleaned out, let's press the handprint. And we have a secret area with a freeze thrower. Oh yeah. Now, if you open up these things, you can get some night vision goggles. But also, you can see a message 
Well, not really. You can press the message and it will open up another secret area. Oh yeah, there we go. Push me. It says, push me. So. <laughs> okay, so the next thing to do is to explore the vent area. Now I'm going to drop a series of pipe bombs down below. To kill the enemies inside the kitchen and then open up the door to the kitchen. Holy shit. <laughs> yes, dude. That really was holy shit. Captain's dead, I might as well take care of this area, too, down below. <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, so this area is protected by a red key card, so we'll come back later on. But yeah, this is the kitchen of the sushi bar, and it looks like, yeah, we are definitely inside of an exotic restaurant. <laughs> but if you press the wall right here, you can get a non-secret area with another jetpack. I'm not sure why they give you two of them. Large med kit right here if you need it. Now, when you enter inside the freezer area, go back. And make sure you kill the three enemies that will spawn when you go inside the freezer. It's nice to have with some freeze thrower ammo in the freezer area. <laughs> Your last secret is the wine cellar uh, door area with some RPG ammo. Grab the atomic health in the dishwasher area. And then we're going to submerge inside the kitchen sink. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is rush down to the other side and grab the red key card, and then try and lure the octobrains to come for me so I can squish them. And it's so nice to have scuba gear, finally. I've always wondered how Duke can talk underwater. There we go. Okay, no, we don't want to go back there yet. What we want to do is go back to the starting area because four more troopers have spawned. <laughs> well, there we go. Okay, so now we will go back through the kitchen sink area. And we come back to the kitchen with the red key in hand. So, okay, where am I going? Um, here we go. So let's use the red key. Yeah, watch out for two enforcers that uh, will spawn in this area. Run in and run back out. Oh, okay, there we go. Both troopers died to the pipe bomb. 
What's interesting is you can look through the crack in the wall and see the second map, Episode 3, Level 2. That's what it looks like, and that's where we'll be in the next video, which is kind of cool. Okay, and this map is done, so let's get out of here. Yeah, 20 minutes to do a very short map. Um, the thing about this map is that there's so much to do. Um, the thing about Episode 3, it, what you have to realize is that the maps look very short. And they are, they're very compact, but damn, are they just filled with things to do, enemies to kill, and surprises around nearly every corner. So I hope that's why it took 20 minutes and not because I'm taking my slow-ass time with everything. Um, but for a first map, oh my gosh, it really brings the heat. Um, you have to know what's up ahead, almost. And you have to, especially early on, you have to plan out your ammo because they don't give you a lot of ammo whatsoever. Seven secrets in such a small map uh, can be rather hard to remember them all, um, especially the non-secret areas because those you don't have to remember if you don't want to, but it's nice to have the two jetpacks for some reason they give you two of them. Um, very difficult map, very compact, and I guess that's all there really is to say about the map. Uh, except that, you know, just take your time, know what's coming up next, and plan ahead with your weapons because they don't give you a lot of, a lot of ammo early on. Anyways, in the next video we will take on Episode 3, Level 2, Bankroll. So, I wonder what this map is going to be about. Well, uh, this was a sushi restaurant uh, for raw meat. So this must be a bank of some sort. We shall see. I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.